Stephanie Hansen from stephaniesdish.com and I am going to be making apricot mustard glazed sausages. I'm just gonna start out preparing some sausage links. So I just have your standard Johnsonville original sausage links and you could fry these in a skillet if you want but a quick way to do it is to just cook them in the oven at 350 degrees for like 12 to 15 minutes until they get cooked and browned. So I've got a silk hat mat here and I'm just putting the sausages down. This is great, like if you're going on a girls weekend or you have a big family coming over, if you're doing a big brunch, you can make a lot and you can put them in a crock pot to stay hot. Basically, we're just gonna get the sausages cooked and then we're gonna add a mustard apricot glaze to them. I'm traveling with these because I'm going to a friend's cabin. So I'm gonna make my glaze right in here and then line the sausages up in there so I can just stick this pan right in the oven when I get there. While those are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and make the glaze with you. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of rosemary. And I'm just going to take it off the stock here. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get these chopped up into little bits. So we're gonna add our rosemary to our pan. I've got a quarter cup of chutney and Major Gray's chutney is the one that we typically buy at the grocery store, but you could make your own if you felt like it. We've also got a quarter cup of honey. I'm just gonna take a little bit for this to come out and also a quarter cup of mustard. And I like a grainy mustard for this just because it gives it a little more texture. That looks like it's about a quarter cup. You can see this recipe is real forgiving. About a teaspoon of salt, some pepper, and then a third of a cup of apricot preserves. All right, so you've got all of this goodness mingling in here. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna heat this up. You can do it on a stove top, you can do it in the microwave, you could even do it in a crock pot. And then you're gonna put the sausages in there. I'm gonna go ahead and microwave this just so that we can finish it up while we're waiting for our sausages. All right, I microwaved this for about a minute just to loosen up the honey, the mustard, the apricot, get this all mixed together and the rosemary will really perfume the sauce. I'm just gonna lay these right inside my vessel here. And this is it. Now you can put these in a crock pot, you can put them in a chafing dish, you can put them on a serving tray. Like I said, I'm bringing these with me out of town on a weekend with the fam. So I'm just getting them ready. And before I serve them, I will just microwave them up or put them in my crock pot. I haven't decided. These are super delicious, super easy, and everybody loves them and they're pre-cooked. So you just heat everything up on the morning that you're serving them. You can find this recipe and other brunch recipes at stephaniesdish.com.